Hey guys, I'm Avery, and today we'll be reading Sunshine Makes the Seasons. Sunshine warms the earth. If the sun stopped shining, the earth would get colder and colder. We would freeze. The whole earth would freeze. You know it would still freeze even though in Brunswick we don't get snow, but you know, it's still gonna freeze. The sun shines all through the year, but we are warmer in the summer than in the winter. The amount of sunshine makes the difference. The earth spins around and rotates once in 24 hours. That's why we have day and night. When we are on the sun side of the earth, there is daylight. As the earth rotates, we turn away from the sun and there is sunset, then night. At the same time that the earth spins, it goes around the sun. The earth takes a year to make one trip around the sun. During a year, the length of the day changes. In winter, the days are short. It may be dark by the time you get home from school. It is cold because we don't get many hours of sunshine. As we move into spring, days become a bit longer. By summer, they are even longer. The days may be so long that it is still light when you go to bed. It is warm because we get many hours of sunshine. After the long days of summer, the days begin to get shorter and cooler. It is fall time and time to go back to school. All through the year, the earth has been rotating once in 24 hours, giving us day and night. And all through the year, the lengths of darkness and daylight have been changing. The seasons have been changing too. You can see the reason for these changes by using an orange for the earth, a pencil, and a flashlight. Push a pencil through an orange from top to bottom. Then, the top is North Pole. You can mark it with an N. You know, that's where Santa Claus comes from. The bottom is the South Pole. Using a marking pen, draw a line around the orange halfway between the poles. That's the equator. Stick a pin in the orange about halfway through the equator, and that is the North Pole. Imagine this is where you live. Turn the pencil and the orange. The pencil is the axis on the, of the orange. The earth also has an axis. There is nothing like a pencil through the earth, but the earth spins as though there were something like a pencil running from pole to pole. Hold the axis of the orange straight up and down. In a darkened room, have someone shine a flashlight on the orange. The light is supposed to be the sun. The, the part of the orange toward the flashlight is the daylight, and the other half is the darkness. Daylight falls on the North Pole and also the South Pole, even when you spin the orange. Walk around the flashlight, keeping the light shining on the orange. That would be the same as the Earth going all around the sun. It would be a year. Keep the axis straight up and down. He's getting dizzy from all the spinning. Whenever you are, whenever you are as you circle the flashlight, the orange is lighted from pole to pole. All through the year and all over the Earth, days and nights would be the same length. There would be no changes in season. But we know that does not happen on the earth. The days get shorter and then longer as earth goes around the sun. And winter changes to summer. It's because the axis of the earth is not straight, and down, straight up and down, it's tilted. Let's experiment with the orange. This time, tilt the axis the way it is tilted in the picture. That's the way the Earth's axis is tilted. Hold the orange so the North Pole is tilted away from the flashlight. Turn the orange all the way around and you will see that the pin is in the light only a short time. The northern half of the Earth has short days and long nights. Sunlight does not fall on the North Pole. The North Pole has its long winter night. It is winter and it is cold.
Keep the axis of the orange tilted in the same direction and go partway around the flashlight. Now the light falls on both poles. It is the springtime in the north. Days are getting longer. Without changing the tilt of the axis, move until you are halfway around the flashlight from where you started. Soon the north pole will be tilted around the light. It is summer. As you turn the orange, the pin is in the light longer than it is in the dark. The northern half of the earth has long days and short nights. The north pole has its long summer day. It is summer and it is warm. Keeping moving around the flashlight, remember, always keep the orange tilted in the same direction. You'll see that once again, light falls on both the north and the south pole of the orange. It is fall in the north. The days are getting shorter and cooler too. Keep moving around and you will come back to winter. They happen because the sunshine, sunshine makes the seasons and because, of, because the axis of the earth is tilted. The southern half of the earth has seasons too. They are opposites of our seasons. When it is summer, we are going to the beach. People on the southern half of the earth are having winter. They are skating and skiing. The North Pole and the South Pole also have seasons. Their winters are cool and dark. The sun does not rise every day. It is dark all winter long. During summer at the poles, the sun does not set every day. For several, week, for several weeks, there is no light. Season at the poles are opposite. When the North Pole has winter, the South Pole has summer. Six months later, when it is winter at the South Pole, it is summer at the North Pole. Along the equator, it is warm all the time. The temperature stays about the same all through the year. You can see why if you experiment with the orange. Move the pin to the equator. Watch the pin to see what happens as you go through a year. You'll see that the day and night are just about the same length in summer and winter, spring and fall. That's good if you like warm weather all the time, but it's also nice to see snow once in a while, to see the flowers and birds of springtime, to go swimming in the summer and have pumpkins in the fall. Year after year, the days change and so do the seasons. We have winter, spring, summer, and fall because the sun warms the earth and because the axis of the earth is tilted. The end.